thinking that baby nails are so cute and tiny, there are many varieties of safety nail clippers out there that are more precise than the adult versions. While some come with lights and music, the key takeaway is that they are all intended to help you avoid cutting baby skin. Now, these safety nail clippers can become dull over time, so it's not a bad idea to have a few lying around the house. For today's video, we're gonna use the Roost Nail Clipper. Now, it is best to do this while baby is asleep, but if you can't, just have them sit inside your lap so that it's as if you're cutting your own nails. You could also give them something to distract them, like a mobile or a toy or a light and sound generator. Some families even like to do this after giving their baby a bath so that the nails are softer and that baby is calmer. All right, so let's get to it. Since you're right-handed, you're okay. gonna take your left hand, hold his hand, and push on the top of it with your thumb okay. to spread out his fingers. Newborns tend to clench their fists a lot, so a little pressure to stretch the fingers out. And the key point to make here is all in the type of cut you'll make. For the fingers, you need to make an arch, so you'll do one, two, and then third cut to shape the top. One, and then the other side to make a sort of triangle, and then a third one to shave the top. Okay. Good? Yeah, I think so. Nice. For the toes, you only need to do uh, one straight cut. It doesn't need to be in an arch to prevent ingrowns. Perfect. There we go. You did it. <laughs> and you can use a nail file like this one from Roost to just trim the hang pieces on the side. There we go, so it doesn't snag on anything. Mm, cool. Way easier than I thought it was going to be. It's not that bad. And some babies are born with very long nails, so you might want to pack a pair of clippers to bring with you to the hospital. And if you actually ever do cut your baby's skin. Happens to the best of us, and if you're really worried, uh, you can talk to your pediatrician. Well, I hope this video helps out all of you. It's a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Don't forget to check out our how-to section for more videos like these. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.